Honor Club, where honor is real. Hello, Ring of Honor fans. This is Cheeseburger here. And today, we're going to bravely watch my first Ring of Honor main show match. Uh, at this point, I had been in wrestling about three years. I started October 2010 at the Ring of Honor Dojo, so I was trained by Delirious and Daisy Hayes. And I had made my in-ring debut on the Independence in 2012. And in 2013, uh, July, uh, I was lucky enough to have my very first Ring of Honor uh, match. And it just so happens that my first Ring of Honor match was with three of the biggest stars in the company, Roger Strong and uh, Red Dragon, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. And it was also for the Ring of Honor World uh, Tag Team Championships. So yeah, no no pressure on uh, on me for my first uh, my first Ring of Honor match. It was actually supposed to just be an exhibition match, and it was wrongly announced as a title match. So me and Roddy got a title shot against Red Dragon uh, on a Night of Hoopla in Chicago. The Night of Hoopla show was kind of the brainchild of Truth Martini, and it, it was a incredible night of debauchery and nonsense between every match there were different skits and live music and just all this this craziness and a night of hoopla the it was the very first of the roh unauthorized series and it it still to this day is one of my favorite shows we've ever done at the time of this match like i was still very new to wrestling uh i had only done a handful of independence at the time so this was my first like experience working with top level dudes in a top level company and it just also happened to be my very first match for Ring of Honor. So, you know, I was feeling insanely nervous the, uh, the entire day. Like I couldn't eat anything, I couldn't drink anything. Like I just felt this insane amount of uh, pressure on me the entire time. Cause this cheeseburger storyline which just started a few months earlier. Um, fans got really got behind it. And I felt like this was my time to really prove that the fan support wasn't gonna be wasted on me. Like I wanted to make the fans happy and I wanted to make uh, my trainer Delirious happy. And I felt like, I felt like s there were so many people I had to impress and make happy and prove that investing their time and energy into me wasn't a waste of time. Uh, and I think the match, I haven't watched it for a while. Uh, I remember being very happy with it at the time. I'm sure watching it now, I'm going to find a lot of things that I really dislike. So let's give it a watch. Uh, Truth Martini with the classic uh, tuxedo biker shirts. Oh, I forgot the referees were in their underwear for this uh, the show. Yeah, every uh, every referee had to wrestle in their underwear just to, to fit the uh, whole night of debauchery gimmick. Uh, Roddy gave me a 2XL Camp Strong shirt, uh, so that is why I am wearing a bed sheet right now. <laughs> I really miss Roddy. He. Uh, he for forever and ever will be one of my favorite people in wrestling. If you guys look closely, you can see my uh, very poorly uh, wrist and uh, hand tape job. This is the, I think the first and only time I tried to tape my wrist and I stopped immediately after this match. Tag champs, Red Dragon. Prime Red Dragon. Look at that. What a weird matchup on paper. Like, yeah, Roderick Strong and a partner, uh, random partner of his choosing, and uh, versus the tag champs, Red Dragon, and out comes Cheeseburger in his, his first match. I, I was so lucky to have Roddy as my partner for this match. Like he, he really held it all together. Um, uh, just like keeping me in the, just keeping my confidence up, making sure like I was in the right place at the right time, and you know, just making sure like he's giving me a little pep talk right there. He was either giving me a pep talk or telling me not to f everything up. So sometimes with Roddy, uh, you didn't really know which one you were gonna get.
So this was my very first set of gear, and this was uh, this was made by one of my trainers, Daisy Hayes, a uh, former Ring of Honor uh, wrestler, a uh, woman of honor wrestler, and uh, yeah, she used to make gear for uh, for a lot of her students. And uh, this is uh, this set I actually completely drew myself. Uh, I have to the original sketch somewhere in a, somewhere in my house. Uh, yeah, I drew the sketch up, and uh, she made the gear. Look at the little burgers that she made. Oh, this is short hair burger. Oh man, I'm so glad I grew my hair out. I, I do not like the short hair look at all. Very inappropriate chant just uh, just now. Uh, Paul Turner, man, I, I miss Paul Turner so much. Yeah, look at all those those underwear. There we go, cheeseburger's gonna kill you, Chan. Okay, okay, I can dig it. And the fans at the show were so awesome. Like, uh, this is this venue was in the bar in Chicago, and it was, it was just super intimate, and like the fans were super receptive to everything, and they were super loud, super hot the entire night. Like, I wish we could do uh, do more shows at this bar. Quickness and the speed of Roddy and the dude never runs out of runs out of gas. Like he's a he's, a, he's such a freak athlete. Wrestling is so so weird. It's one of those things where you know, but before the match, like I, I was so incredibly nervous and had so many butterflies. But once I went through the curtain, like even though I was still nervous, like I was able to not show it as much and just kind of like fill it in the groove and just fill in this reacting to everything and listening to the crowd and feeding off their energy. Uh, so just it's something about going through that curtain that really uh, really changes everything. The young, the young cheeseburger watches closely as his mentor uh, does, couple, does some chain wrestling, some mat wrestling, some grappling. As I was in there, I didn't realize how long this match actually was, especially for for a debut match. Uh, they, they gave us, they really gave us some time for this. There we go. Now we're moving. God, Roddy's so quick. He's still quick, even after all these years. Oh, a little, little tornado clutch into a pin. Okay. Nice, beautiful leg lariat. There we go. I'm calling for it. I'm calling for it. Is he gonna give it? There we go. Why did I tape my wrists up like that? That looks awful. I wear gauntlets now. Uh, I just uh, get someone to help lace them up for me. Way better than tape. If you're a wrestler, get trust me. Get gauntlets. Save you so much money on tape. Try not to look nervous right here, as I'm in there with one of the best in Kyle O'Reilly. Oh yeah, you, you can see on my face, I'm I'm thinking about everything right now. Like you can see it, it you could see it absolutely see it on my face that the gears are turning. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, nice wrist lock. It's having no effect on Kyle right now, but I'm trying. Oh, 
Oh, my underwear was showing this entire match. If you look at uh, my waistband as my vest comes up, you can see... Uh, uh, I remember Rhett Titus got on me. He's like, yeah, you need, a, you need to tuck your waistband in or find some kind of underwear that uh, matches your, the color of your gear. Oh, nice. I haven't done that in forever. It was uh, a little bit of young cheeseburger before, uh, you know, the uh, the old man knees that I have now. I say old man knees as I uh, am only 27 years old. Uh, Roddy just told me, hey, F him up. This is for anyone that couldn't hear the audio. Oh, my specialty. My specialty, the test of strength. God, my face looks so nervous this entire match. <laughs> There we go, okay. Terrible back roll, but I, I got there. Countered the, countered the knuckle lock. And down. And the finger stomp, nice. Okay. I'm like moving so, I'm like, it's, it may be hard for a lot of people to tell, but like a lot of wrestlers know, but I'm just, my body movement, I'm just I got so much, so many nerves. Like I'm moving my feet way too much. A blank facial expression as I'm thinking. Okay, we're moving. Oh, roll through. Little jawbreaker combo. Okay. Reverse. Whoa, what's, what am I going for? Head scissors. Okay. And there's my underwear coming out. Okay, nice head scissors. I don't remember any of this offense for this match. <laughs> okay, I think it's a little double team between me and Roddy. Not a bad drop kick. Not a bad drop kick. This hasn't been this hasn't been that bad so far. I'll, I'll be honest. I've been, there's a couple of little things I haven't liked, but it's, it's been all right. Fighting back. Okay, little side step. Gotta get Roddy back. Oh no, no tag to Roddy. Okay. I'm actually surprised how long I've been in the, in the ring for this while tagging out to Roddy. <laughs> such a cool venue like uh, I highly recommend uh, all these uh, Chicago unauthorized shows I believe there was um, Night of Hoopla and uh, Mike Bennett's Bachelor Party which is also another very good one I have no facial expression at all I'm thinking so much about this match <laughs> Roddy, okay. Quick roll up. Do I dive here? I don't, even, I don't remember what dives I did at, the, at this time. Oh, that was my first time doing a house show. That's what it was. Yeah, that was, that was my first time doing the... Uh, uh, house shield dive, the cascado over the uh, over the top rope. Mm, my first Roddy chop of the match. I've been legal a really long time. 
There you go. All right, tag back out the Riley. What are we going for? Oh, no double All right, here we go. Here we go. Oof. I've wrestled Roddy twice in my career, and he he has some of the hardest shots out there. Like they, you feel every uh, every piece of those. Like the way he can just change gears and get aggressive, and from slow to aggressive to back to slow. Oh, I think I came up with that double team. I I, I forgot where I had seen it. Uh, I remember, I remember um, talking to Roddy about that, like uh, the atomic drop uh, neck breaker combo. What am I going for here? German? Okay. It also has no effect. Oof. Felt that one. Quick shout out to Paul Turner, really, man. He's one of the best refs out there. Like, I, I anytime I had him, uh, Todd, you know, Todd as well. Uh, me and me and Paul, we traveled the road uh, so much together. Like, he, he's one of my favorite refs, one of my favorite peoples, like out there. Staying alive, okay, okay. I'm reaching the wrong way, my partner's behind me. There we go, crawl, crawl, there we go. Last trip to Japan, I actually uh, sold this ring gear to a, uh, a wrestling shop in, I believe, uh, the Todokan wrestling shop in Tokyo. Uh, I sold my first two sets of gear there, and they, they're actually uh, up for display for sale if you're ever in, uh, in Tokyo. Go to the Todokan shop. It's about 200, 250 yen, I think. Something like that. Uh, it would be 2,500 yen, actually. I forgot the conversion rate. Bobby and Kyle are so good. Everything they do is precise and smooth and impactful and intense. Like... Yo, fight back, okay. Fighting back, okay? And then I get shut down. And there's my underwear again. Bright red underwear. Hey, duck. Hey, sunset flip, okay. Oh, he made the tag, cheeseburger. <laughs> Roddy uh, trying to rally me back in this with some, uh, uh, some very non-PG language. Uh, he's not one for uh, for uh, sugarcoating things. Breaker right into the stretch, okay? Ooh! 
Oh, I love that. I got to drag me right back. Such good tag team specialists. Like they, they, Red Dragon really knows how to cut off the ring and keep keep one target isolated. Oh yeah, it's a combo they used to do. Uh, tilt him on backbreaker, knee drop. Okay. Oh! Holy crap! Oh, I got destroyed with that. something oh okay oh okay it's coming back to me now yeah, oh roll into my corner and nobody's there and O'Reilly got taken out okay second time second time they got it back as I as I fix fix my helpful pad. <laughs> uh, uh maybe 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 try one more time guys. Third time this has gotta be it. This has gotta be the one. If they do double there's no way they can miss. <laughs> Absolutely incredible I Oh man, I, I have not seen this in a while. I could, man, that was that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> I gotta make the tag though. Now's the time. Where's Roddy? Where's Roddy? There we go. There we go. Crawl, crawl, burger, crawl. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Look at Roddy go. Beautiful drop kick, man. Oh, we got, we got this is awesome, Chan. Okay. Oh, this is the old uh, Roger Strong and Jack Evans move. <laughs> I remember we, uh, we talked about that. I think Roddy asked me if I could do a 450 splash. Actually, originally he went through the uh, the old to Bulldogs move him and Jack Evans used to do, where um, the guy would be hooked up in the corner and he would have me in a power bomb and backflip me into a double stop. I was like, yeah, I, I don't, I can't do a backflip, man. We can, we can, we can figure something else out. Yeah, doing some uh, some him and uh, Jack Evans moves. Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't remember this. Oh, that was awesome. Why have I never used that with another tag partner? That was awesome. Me and Roddy actually make a really good tag team. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, the hanging octopus. That's a great, great submission. Slightly different than the uh, standard octopus variation. I I've used this a few times in uh, in matches. <laughs> we we got some really creative stuff with this match. I haven't I haven't like I've been awkward and like super nervous, but I haven't like had any major slip ups yet. Oh, here we go. Right. 
Me and Bobby now, mano y mano, face to face. Roddy is so disappointed right now. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that kick. Here comes the high low. I tried to do the, uh, that was, uh, that was me trying to do the, uh, Chris Hero, uh, Cyclone kick. Oh, Cole Red, oh yeah, that used to be one of my signature moves. Nice, nice. All the people are not happy about that. I think that is a kill the ref chant going on. So good, he's so good. Right, going up top, what am I what am I going for here? Missile drop kick, maybe? Oh I am going for missile drop kick. Oh I get the, the double uh, double catch. Oh I think that was the only time they've used that. <laughs> it's against, against me catching me in the basket. Uh, I think this is sadly the end. Mmm. I put up the good fight, but in the end, I dropped the ball. I couldn't get it done. You know? <laughs> Kyle just starts tickling me after the match. <laughs> and like motor bowling my stomach. Uh, I have to send this clip to him. I don't even know if he remembers that. It was, that was way so weird. <laughs> Why did he motorboat my stomach? <laughs> uh, couldn't get the couldn't get the tag tiles this time. I think if me and Roddy had another shot at the tag tiles, we could we could have gotten it done. And the code of honor at the end. Or a good hard fought match. <laughs> Thanks for defending me, Roddy. So that was my first match, and it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be watching it back. Um I remember at the time liking it a lot and but watching it back, I did see like a lot of uh, very green awkwardness and my nervousness on my face. But I, the match turned up being pretty good, I thought, um, especially for like my first match, like in there with um, these great talented athletes. Uh, like I can't take any credit for that match. Like it's. It was all Bobby, Kyle, Roddy. Like I wouldn't have got through it without those guys, and you know they're they're some of the best out there. And if they ever watch this, and if they're ever listening, I just want to say, Bobby, Kyle, Roddy, uh, thank you guys for taking care of me, and thank you guys for putting me through an awesome first match. So hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, thank you all for watching. Like I really appreciate you coming through this journey, and you know, uh, subscribe to Honor Club and follow me on Twitter. Stay safe.